Hey everybody, welcome to the Squirrel, Squirrel Music and Follows, welcome to tuning in. If you guys want to see YouTube Tips Part 2, please stay tuned. Hey everyone, so here we are with YouTube Tips Part 2 and we are going to get into sponsorship. That's where I left off. So we are going to talk about sponsorship and I'm going to look down here. And before I start, if you have not seen Part 1, please go see Part 1. I'll put in the iCard above and I'll put it down in the description bar below. And so you guys could catch up and it'll also be at the end of this video because, uh, because there's a big chunk over there. So um, if you want to come, um, you know, if you want to stop this and go over there or if you want to just stay here and then catch up later. But I'm going to talk about sponsorship, sponsorship reviews and other things on here okay so sponsorship is the position of being a sponsor okay that's basically what it's <laughs> saying um but um financial support received from a sponsor okay so basically a sponsor is basically you know kind of what it basically says is, is you're being sponsored from a company so say a company wants you to review a product and they are compensating you for reviewing their product so they're going to sponsor you they're going to give you some money and they are going you know when you review the product now there are a lot of youtubers out there that like to lie just because they're getting sponsored and they want to work with the company again so they decide to lie you know in order to you know since they're getting compensated and they want to you know continue with the company and they want to burn bridges because the the product they actually don't like you know they they want to like it and they want to lie to the subscribers and that's not good especially when you have loyal subscribers and that follow you and then sometimes you know rely on your review or your video on something um on their decision to buy the product w which has happened in a lot of cases on my channel there have been a lot of people that had come up to me and was like oh i was waiting for your video even though it's for my hair i was waiting on your video to see and that will make my decision you know what i mean so you want to be careful with that you know if it's a sponsored video please let your subscribers know hey look y'all this is a sponsored video um i've never done a sponsored video but if i do i know i will in the future i'm gonna claim it um i will let my subscribers know like hey um so this is a sponsored video so whatever the case is but i'm very honest and i'm not going to sit up here and lie to you guys just because i'm getting compensated from the company you know if they don't want to work with me because of my you know honest review then i guess case sera sera you know sometimes that happens you know whatever the case is then you do have some companies that do want you to do that but it's mm, so whatever the case is it's tricky out here so you have to be careful you know what i mean so it's always good to have some type of YouTube, you know, um, sister or brother or somebody out here that, you know, you can interconnect with so you guys can, you know, um, you know, correlate with different ideas and say, hey, so-and-so hit me up. Um, I don't know if this, is, if this is, you know, um, not good or whatever the case is, you know, let me know, whatever the case is. So, f the, um, you know, find a good friendship on here, you know, that you talk about the content and talk about, you know, things of that sort that will help each other grow, you know, and things of that sort, you know, because the other stuff can you know get kicked to the curb okay so that's basically it about that also we're going to talk about reviews so reviews is um i don't have a um, formal definition for that but reviews on products certain products or whatever the case is when you're reviewing a product you're basically giving your opinion on how it works on your hair your face or whatever type of product that it is and you want to make sure that you're giving an honest review you're not getting paid for it if you're not getting paid for it um you know still do not lie okay because you don't lie because a lot of people do do that too because say if it's a brand that they like whether it be like Shea Moisture or somebody just throwing out some names out there sorry y'all but um you know maybe they want to get in good with the company and all the products that they use from them is good to them but you know but they're really lying inside and just to get in good and so so they could be an ambassador or whatever the case is or get an affiliate link or whatever the case is and then all in all the product is burning your hair making your hair fall out but you over here you know um hyping the company up when it's not even doing your hair justice which is not good you know you have to make sure that when you are doing these reviews you be honest and be nice honest about it you know what I mean um some people will be like oh you know like I know I've said in some of my videos I was just like uh, you know maybe I said put it in the trash I don't know but um you don't want to be too brutally honest you know to the fact to the where they like dang like they just you know um you know sometimes you know 
you have to kind of you know know how to do it in a professional way you know or try to you know put it in 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 a nice way that the company doesn't feel like embarrassed or the company doesn't feel like you know their their product is is not where it's at and you know they feel some type of way so you just want to make sure that you you know um when you're doing a review you want to make sure that you're trying to make it as professional as possible all right so when you're reviewing something you want to make sure that you're genuine about it you want to make sure that you're professional and then usually you know the brands that you're reviewing most of those brands you know have multiple other products that that you may like in the future or probably products that you already tried that you like so you want to make sure you be careful how you say certain things but not trying to tell you what to say but just to you know keep it you know keep it cute you know um and just try to you know um do it in a, a manner that in in a way that you know um, maybe they're like, okay, well, we'll go back in the lab and we'll try to figure it out or we'll see what, you know, Sally, Jack and Susie have to say. Well, we'll see what Sally, Jack and Jane has to say. And, you know, let's see and compare and maybe we have to go back in the lab and, you know, add or subtract or whatever the case is. So, yeah, so that's basically about that. So, um, you know, um, and a lot of these um, companies do take, you know, us um, influencers, um, you know, um, um, reviews um, kind of seriously because you know they're like oh okay we're gonna change this when we say there's too, not too many shades of Maybelline or not too many shades of this or that you know they come back with 40 more shades or they come back with this more shades or whatever the case is because they're listening to us so it's always important to you know try to express yourself but not express it to where it's like come off as like oh you know what I mean so um but like I said I'm not saying you know you don't have to say how I say it or whatever the case is but just you know just keep in mind that you know if you want this channel if I'm sorry if you want your channel to be looked as professional whatever the case is is, then try to treat it as such you know it's kind of like a job you know how would you act at your profession that you're in you know what I mean so whatever the case is but I look at it as a part-time job so whatever the case is you know some people look at it as a hobby so you know whatever the case is so yeah so but anyway so we got we got um we got through all the the terms and terminology and things of that sort or whatever the case is so i just wanted to talk about some tips or things that you can bring with you while you're you know while you're in youtube you know with youtube um you know you want to make sure that you know especially to the newer youtubers out there don't try not to stress yourself out you know if you don't get to a thousand or if you don't get to this many watch hours or if you don't get monetization or if you're under review um just try to relax because at the end of the day it will come don't um don't be upset because sally jack and jane got there before you and you've been here before them sometimes that happens i have had you know people that has been on after me and they had superseded their subscribers or views or whatever the case is with my channel that's why I'm saying now I am going to you know really you know focus on the analytics part of my channel and get more into that to see what I can do to do this and do that and, and kind of balance my content and see what was getting these views and stuff like that because at the end of the day I'm not crying over views or whatever the case is but I do want that you know more exposure you know what I mean and I always talk about that you know even though the views are not as up there as I would like or how it was from before for a while ago you know I'm still getting some type of exposure but not as much you see what I'm saying as I was getting before because I was looking back at my channel and seeing and I'm just like dag I was getting this whatever the case is but I don't get my paintings in a bunch because maybe it was a reason why it happened that way you know what I mean like I said before my algorithm you know what I've been watching or what I was watching had an effect on you know my my channel or getting my channel getting buried and also YouTube is very very saturated so you have to think about that as well a lot of people are you know are you know becoming content creators you know what I mean and which is not a bad idea but that's just the reality of it okay and so that's just basically it about that but I just want to give you know encouragement and encourage those out there that are really 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 passionate about their channel because I know YouTube has made a lot of changes they've been making changes um, since the Google Plus days and stuff like that and had us all in a frantic you know um, craze or whatever the case is so it's like you have to take everything on the chin you know and I know some people can't do that 
you know so you have to just try to you know he has to keep pushing especially if this is something that you want to do long term or maybe somebody will see you get picked up you know the exposure or whatever the case is but you know just take your time and do it right it may not and you may not get there next week you may not get there this week you may not get there next year you may not get there five, five years from now whatever the case is i know that sounds but you have to look at reality sometimes and see you know worst case scenario but you know just keep on continuing to do it because you know there are times when i'll be like uh you know I, uh, I don't know what's going on but i always get that one comment or i always get that one email i always get that one thing that's just like okay somebody's saying you're doing a good job this and that i like the way that you did this tutorial I like the way you did this wig tutorial oh i'm gonna try this on my daughter i'm gonna try this on my sister oh this was so nice this was so detailed and i'm like okay maybe i'll stay you know what i mean or maybe you know whatever the case is there sometimes you may need a break you know i took a three-month break one time because my computer went down you know but that was god saying you need to take a break sis okay so um so it all depends on with you so if you if you need to take a break take it okay you can just do a little clip let your subscribers know like hey i'm taking a break you only have to come on camera you just type up something real quick on um, movie windows movie maker or whatever type of software program that you have for editing throw it up there and then be back when you can okay don't even give a deadline you know what i'm saying so that's just basically about that or if you want to do a small clip video or whatever the case is or a little live whatever you know if you need that time to yourself take that time to yourself because sometimes that's what you have to do and also when you're on youtube like i said before with the collaborating and the challenges and stuff like that when you are meeting people on youtube make sure you're you're meeting them kind of like on a professional level first and if you do become friends because i i have made friends off of youtube you know and i'm still i still talk to them to this day um and you know whatever the case is sometimes you know people that you talk to before you don't talk to no more and that's okay it's okay you know sometimes this happens you know is 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 a reason for it that that it happened you know the guy working in serious ways so if you got to depart you got to depart and that's just then that's just basically it about that you know so um you know just keep it moving and move forward and time will heal and, and you're and you're good or whatever the case is you have other friends outside of youtube so you you should be good you know what i mean so that's basically about that but you know just um just just continue to do what you're doing um you know be professional about it um you know i know my vlogs be on some you know crazy stuff i know i, I just thought about that um but you know at the end of the day when i'm doing certain videos like this or products reviews or whatever the case is i try to keep it professional as possible you know i put my little professional you know i put my little you know personality in and always doing some little things like this a little outburst stuff like that but at the end of the day you know they probably they would want somebody like that you know whatever the case is to review their product instead of just sitting there like and this then and there da, da, da. you know you never know what the what the brand is looking for or whatever the case is so you want to make sure that you're acting like yourself okay be yourself be unique because if you try to be somebody else, I said this in my vlogs, it's so hard and people see the fakeness shining through. And you do not want that, okay? And they don't want to be singing the Polaroid song. I see a true color shining through. You don't want that, okay? Okay. So you want, you know, you don't you don't want you don't want that song to come on, you know, while people are looking like, you know, after a while, you know how you're trying to act like somebody, then after a while, you know, you start being yourself and it's just like, okay, the Polaroid song come on like I see you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you don't you don't want that happening. You don't want that moment happening. So be yourself all the way around. You know what I'm saying? If people don't accept the way you are, they're just gonna move on and keep moving. You have to accept the fact that they moved on. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, you know, whatever the case is, you, you have to, you have to accept, and the person's gone, and that's just basically about that, so it's like, um, and, and, and that's, and that's just basically about that, you know, you just, you just, um, you know, do what you do here, you know, do what you do, concentrate on your content, concentrate on what you are putting out here for your audience, make sure it's something that you want to do, do not be forced to do something that you want to do, so if you want to do a wig tutorial, if you want to do anything in beauty or if you want to do a yoga exercise or something like that make sure it's because you want to do it or you was inspired by someone or you've been motivated by someone don't force it out because you you, you I don't know some people just just do things and and they don't fall through with it you know or just come off as being not genuine you know people see that your audience sees that okay some people just spot fakeness on jump when they don't even know you you see what I'm saying so it's like you know you have to be careful with that so just be yourself because you don't 
you know, you don't want to be, you know, you know, fake. And then if they see you out in public, you know, you're some other person or, you know, as, as, as you, like I said before, the Polaroid, Polaroid song, um, as you continue to make videos, you know, you're changing and you got, you're going to have people in the comments like, oh, but you changed or this and anything. And you're probably like, oh, no, I always been like this. Well, you wasn't like that in the beginning. You know what I mean? And it's a difference from being nervous or shy or whatever the case is from your personality. OK, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about you just trying to copy someone's whole personality. And the next thing you know, you just you just somebody else like, come on now. Like we about, we about pull out here, you know. So um, that's just basically about that. But yeah, so that's that's just that's just it. I don't I don't know what else to say. But um, you know, just basically just you know just keep moving forward, keep pushing forward, continue to do what you want to do. Okay, don't worry about if you know you lose subscribers. Okay, I, I lose subscribers every day. Not every day, but I used to lose, lose subscribers all the time. Um, people, I don't get them that that many views sometimes. You know. Um, I get dislikes. You know, you're going to have the haters. Okay, that's another thing. You're going to have thick skin. You're going to have haters. You're going to have people that hate on you just because, you know, sometimes my video get put right up and it's a dislike. Or sometimes, you know, whatever the case is, you just have to look at that and laugh because it's just like, like my dude, you just, you just took the time to dislike the video. But thanks for the view, boo. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, people just, just have nothing else better to do. So they just want to hit the dislike and they just want to become a part of your hater fan club. You know what I mean? So that's just basically about that. But yeah, so just you know continue to do you boo and don't worry about nobody else you know you can only be the, the the best person that you can be you know that you have been put on this earth to do whatever purpose that you put on this earth to do use this channel I'm sorry use this platform as something that you can reach out to your audience and something that you truly are passionate about because if it's not the, your your channel is 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 not going to go the way you planned okay so just continue to do what you do um and um don't worry about what's going don't don't worry about the other people because they're just people are a lot of people are miserable okay so um you know that's basically about that and then just you know and if you don't want to see certain comments because people do leave certain comments block delete put it in spam report it whatever you want to do so you won't see it anymore i've done that plenty of times you know sometimes i've seen a comment and i was like no delete or whatever or sometimes you just leave it there and let your subscribers handle it because i've had that happen too i was like i left the comment up there and somebody said oh you were talking too much and then one of my um subscribers or followers was like oh but this is a tutorial so of course she has to talk you know so i'm like okay so i like their comment so i didn't, I didn't say anything you know what i mean so it's just like okay thank you subscriber you know what i mean so that's just basically it about that so so, um, yeah, you just got to try to take things as a grain of salt, but everybody handles every situation differently. So in me, I'm just like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got better things to worry about than a dislike or somebody leaving a bad comment, you know, it's, it's whatever, no sweat off my back. You know, I'm not going to, you know, cry about it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, so that's basically about that. You know, I have other things that I've cried about or that's deeper than that. You know what I mean? And, you know, just have to make sure that, that you, you see this as being like a, a surface of something, but, um, my channel is my baby. I really cherish it and I would never risk this channel for anything you know i would never risk this channel on some drama or no beef or nothing like that i would never put my channel in jeopardy like that and i would you know advise y'all to do the same thing especially if you have quality content to give out there to your audience okay all right so that's just basically it about that just want to give that and just continue to be you and um you know be strong in your endeavors and you know stand on your you know on your principles of your channel you know don't change because Sally Jack and Jane says so or you see them doing that do what works for your channel and if it works keep it if it ain't broke don't fix it you know what I mean you can always get suggestions or recommendations or whatever the case is but that's just basically about that before I go I know I talk too much I don't want to do a part three but um follow Roberto Blake um Tim Schmoyer and Nick, I forgot his name, Nimmerman, I, I forgot. But I'll put all their names down in the description bar below so you guys can follow those um, young men. They are really awesome. They definitely, definitely talk about YouTube all the time, how to get views, um, explain analytics and algorithm and everything. I need to, you know, get back on the ball with them and looking at their videos a little bit more often to get more in tune with the background of my channel. And I suggest you guys do the same, especially if you are a new YouTuber. Um, don't wait too late like me. I've been looking behind the scenes of it, but I, I 
I really haven't been like really focused focused on it but now that's what I'm gonna do so definitely go check them out they are very good so I will put them down in the description bar below and that's just basically about that so I talk too much you guys thank you so much for listening thank you so much for listening to the YouTube tips and YouTube um, terminology and that's also that is used outside of YouTube so that's just basically about that so I am done I know you're probably like oh that was boring so nah, but yeah I had to get you on my serious mode like you know blah, 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 blah. but yeah so that's just about that but yeah so um see you my subscribers <laughs> um i hope you like this shirt let me know in the comment section below um and that's basically about that let me know if you want more videos like this informative videos like this i just want to throw this out there so you guys can have this and have it from my perspective i know there's a lot of videos out there like this but you know i like to put out videos like this just to just to put you know my my two cents in there my perspective on certain things whatever the case is okay so that's just basically it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it have any questions comments, 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 com